Hi, and welcome to part three in our new series covering the stages of construction. After our house has finished the dry-in phase of construction, the next phase is MEP. MEP stands for Mechanical, Electrical, and Plumbing. And today we will talk about each of these steps. We hope that this video will help you prepare on what to expect when building your own custom home. Our first step in the MEP process is the air conditioning and heating systems called the HVAC systems and is the mechanical part of MEP. HVAC, which stands for heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. The first step for this installation happens after framing, where the builder and the HVAC contractor will meet on site to design the final layout of the ductwork. The builder typically only brings in the customer to discuss the design when ducting affects the floor plan. Once completed, the HVAC contractor will begin installation of the ductwork and refrigerant lines, followed by the furnaces that are installed in the attic. Attention should be given to the placement of the furnaces as they will need to be accessible for future service. The ductwork will be installed from the attic to the first floor and will need to run throughout the entire house. Each duct will be secured to the frame to ensure that the proper airflow is achieved. The duct will then be attached to the vent and the vent will be unscrewed into place in the ceiling. This process will be repeated throughout the entire home. And the last piece of equipment to be installed is the compressor, or outside condenser. This occurs a few months after the initial HVAC installation and once installed will be commissioned by the subcontractor and started for the very first time. The can lights, outlet boxes, and switches are installed without wiring for an initial walkthrough. This ensures that the lighting is aligned properly and the switches are in the most functional locations. This is a walkthrough with both the contractor, electrician, and the client. Be sure that your contractor has you do that with them. Once the HVAC rough is completed, the rough electrical wire will begin. First, the wiring will be placed and installed along the frame of the entire home and holes will be drilled through the studs to allow the wires to pass through the walls of the home. After the wires are pulled through these holes, they are secured in place. The wiring is terminated if the can lights are installed and all wiring is brought back to the panel locations for future termination into the panels and breakers. Wiring is also run to the locations of all the switches and outlets at this time. The final termination to the panels does not occur at the time of rough in, but as the home is approaching completion and the permanent power is ready to energize. Finally, we come to the P in MEP, and it's plumbing. This phase begins with installing water, gas, and sewage lines to every part of the home. We use the PEC system with a manifold for water lines in this system. The manifold should be installed in the easy to access area for future access in case of emergency, or you want to turn a particular water line off. The plumbing subcontractor also installs protective pieces so that screws or nails do not penetrate the water lines during other parts of the construction. After the water lines, they will install gas lines to each device and sanitary sewer pipes to each required area. The water heaters will also be installed and lines terminated or temporarily closed at this time. Again, planning has to happen for easy access to these units. 
Lastly, towards the end of the project, after flooring and tile, the plumber will install the plumbing fixtures and the faucets and test the system again. With each step of the MEPs completed, let's go over each one one more time. First, M is for mechanical or your HVAC, which is heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. Second, E is for electrical, adding all the wiring and outlets for your home. And finally, P for plumbing, adding all the pipes and water connections for your fixtures and appliances for your new custom home. Thank you all for watching. We really hope this video will help you on your home building journey. If you want to see more, please subscribe and like this video. Also, if you're searching for more information on building a custom home, check out some of our other videos. Or if you're just looking for a custom home builder here at Houston, then visit our website, aspirefindhomes.com. Thank you for watching.